Presten atención, vean, escuchen, tomen nota y aprendan. Hoy van a seguir mis órdenes. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an essential aspect of the Spanish language, the imperative both. We will unravel the mysteries behind this mode and help you become a master of giving commands or making requests in Spanish. So let's get started. My name is Jo Barón, one of your ambassadors for Spanish 55. In this channel, we provide you with some of the most useful tips and tricks to improve your Spanish like a pro. Before we start, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Before we begin, let's quickly rasp what imperative mode is. The imperative mode is used to give commands. It's a way to tell someone what to do and it's quite versatile. First, let's start with basic commands. In Spanish, when addressing someone informally, you often drop the subject pronoun. For instance, come instead of tu comes. When addressing someone formally or using usted, the imperative changes. When using informal commands with irregular verbs, the imperative mode changes in unique ways. Let's take a look. First up, the verb ser, which means to be. In its informal command form, it becomes se. For instance, se amable, be kind, and se paciente, means be patient. Moving on, we have the verb ir, which means to go. In its informal command form, it becomes ve. For instance, ve a la tienda, means go to the store, and ve al parque, which means go to the park. When using formal commands with irregular verbs, things can be a little bit different. For the formal command form of ser, we use sea. This is a bit different from the informal way se. For instance, sea puntual means be punctual and sea honesto means be honest. Now for the formal command form of ir, it becomes vaya. An example could be vaya al médico, meaning go to the doctor, or vaya a la reunión meaning go to the meeting. Irregular verbs add a touch of uniqueness to the imperative mode. They're essential to know, since they often crop up in everyday conversations and instructions. Let's move on to the negative form. To form negative commands, use the word NO before the imperative verb. For example, no comas, which means don't eat, and no hables, which means don't speak. For negative commands on the formal mode, you would only omit the last S of the verb. For instance, informal, no corras. Formal, no corra, don't run. Informal, no fumes. Formal, no fume, don't smoke. To form reflexive commands, you start by identifying the reflexive verb you want to use. Then, you simply add the corresponding reflexive pronoun to the end of the imperative verb. Let's look at some examples. For example, the verb levantarse, which means to get up, can become the command levántate, meaning get up. For instance, no te levantes, meaning don't get up, and no te vistas, meaning don't get dressed. Now let's practice a bit. How would you say listen informally? That's right, escucha. And how about don't write formally? Exactly, it's no escriba. Awesome job, let's keep practicing. What's the informal command for the verb read? 
Yes, it's le. And the formal command for sleep? Right, it's duerma. Requests and suggestions. The imperative mode isn't just for commands. It's also used for making requests or giving suggestions politely. For example, por favor, ayúdame, meaning please help me. Remember, in Spanish-speaking cultures, softening your requests with por favor and gracias goes a long way in showing respect. Well, there you have it. The imperative mode in Spanish is a powerful tool for giving commands. With practice, you'll become more comfortable using it in various situations. And here's the last exercise using the imperative mode for commands. Suscríbete al canal, dale like a este video, comenta en la parte de abajo y ve a ver el resto de contenido que tenemos para ti. Comment on the box below all the verbs on imperative mode that you were able to identify. In Spanish 55, we love seeing you growing and learning with us. Feel comfortable enough to get in touch with any of our tutors if you need personalized assistance or guidance. All of them will be glad to help you out. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Adiós y hasta luego.